What's going on, guys? Uh, it's Shaky Balance. I'm excited. You should be excited. And here's why. X-Plane 11 just added a brand new aircraft. And if you know anything about Vietnam era aircraft, you know exactly what I'm sitting in right now without even seeing the outside. This is the F-4 Phantom absolutely famous aircraft I say famous because everybody loved this huge huge tank of an aircraft in the Vietnam era and holy cow is it a good looking aircraft if you've ever seen this thing fly in person you don't understand how it flies it's it's so big and so heavy it just doesn't make sense I mean of course it is definitely aided with these two massive jet engines but even still it's it's a very large aircraft now the one thing that I'm the most excited for that I'll show you when we take off is the armament now uh, whenever I first got in this thing I didn't even realize that you could actually use it I thought oh that's great it's all for show because I was, I was pressing my toggles for firing weapons and nothing was happening and then I looked in the cockpit, and I'll show you here. You know, I just la di da di da, checking out everything that I can toggle, which is it's pretty few and far between the things you can toggle. Everything over here, not usable. Uh, and then I got up here, huh? Missiles, arm. What does that mean? Huh? We'll have to try that out. Uh, so this, the interior is definitely very good looking. It's very accurate, very accurate. And it kind of kills me that you can't use a lot of this stuff. Uh, I'm sure in the, the coming weeks we'll be able to, but so far I think it's just enough to be able to start this aircraft and do a little bit of autopilot with it. Here we go. Go ahead and nose her down here. And we're going to go ahead and turn this baby back north. Woo! Redline a little bit. Now, like I said, I've never flown this one before. So, I haven't really tried dropping the bombs, and uh, I'm not too sure how well it's going to go. I might completely miss. Maybe I'll, you know, maybe the bomb's going to land in Texas somewhere on accident. I don't know. Sink rate, Sorry, Texas. Sink rate, sink rate, sink rate, sink rate, sink rate, sink rate, sink rate I know. Sink rate, sink rate, sink rate, sink rate, Go ahead and drop rate, it here. Sink rate. Oh, was that the right button? I might have pressed the wrong button. And it's sink this rate, one. Sink rate, sink, sink rate. rate, sink rate. I know. Alright, we'll go into third person here and watch this happen. There we go. There's. Oh, they're rockets, actually. Huh. Maybe I should have. Oh, boy, let's follow these things. Ooh, look at that. Look at that Duke Nukem type explosion right there. I haven't seen graphics like that since 1995. Alright, I'm going to take a look at my other controls here and see if I can launch off these, uh, look like some kind of sidewinders here. Uh, unfortunately, while trying to figure out all the settings, I may have accidentally fired off all of our ammunition. So, let's cut to, uh, me coming in for final. Okay, we are coming in 
very, very hot. Okay, so that landing didn't really go as I had expected it to, though what could you expect coming in at almost 500 knots and landing at about the other end of the runway? Um, so I went to the main menu and I decided to customize this thing because I forgot that you can do that. Uh, I was interested to see if you could change the weaponry on it. And it turns out you can. Um, and it's not just limited weapons used on the Phantom. It's things like the A-10, the F-22, etc. So I got the A-10 GAU-8 on there somehow. I also have a shit ton of GBUs, and I can't remember the other one. Alright, let's take this baby off. First weapon of the day should be, let me see, is it Gal? Oh crap, I didn't arm. Oh, I did. I did. I don't want to miss it. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Sink rate, sink rate, sink rate, sink rate. Drop them all. Pull on. Drop them all. Pull on. Pull on. Did I drop anything? Yes, I did. Success! Those were the AMRAMs. Perfect. Oh, Jesus, this red line. I'm gonna have to get used to it now. None of the other aircraft in this game can make you redline like this. Well, I'm forgetting the SR-71, which is multitudes faster than this one. Anyway, whip her back around here. Going for a second pass. Going to change our weapons with this button. Which means literally nothing to you because you can't see what this button is. Just a big shiny red button on my uh, controller here. Which hopefully, hopefully we will be on the uh, GBUs this time. Sink rate, sink rate, I know. Alright, let's drop them Oh, did none of them drop? Okay. Um, let me change my setting really fast. Okay, now we should be good, hopefully. I gotta change to be my trigger now instead of uh, some obscure button. Now the unfortunate thing about uh, this game is, or simulator I should say, is that you can't see what weapon you have selected. So right now if I don't, I don't know if I'm on my uh, GAU-8, I don't know if I'm on my GBUs, or if somehow I'm still selected on my uh, AMRAMs. So, I'm just going to press the button a few times and hope for the best. Kind of like Russian roulette of uh, weapons. Except more like uh, American roulette. Go ahead and whip her on around. Or she blows. Ooh, is something on fire down there? Did I actually blow something up? By golly, I may have. Okay, so unfortunately, I can't get the uh, GBUs to go off, and I cannot use the GAU-8 either. I guess they're in the game just for looks right now, even though the GAU-8 doesn't look very good, and they're not really functional. Uh, I've cycled through just about every option to fire off something that I can. Nothing's working. Uh, the only things I can that I know I can use are like AMRAM, Sidewinders, 
I don't even know if the 50 cal that's supposed to come with this thing will even work or not. Um, so I don't know. Uh, at this point, I would test it out, but this video is already coming on to be longer than it needs to be. And uh, I gotta edit edit this thing and get it up. So I'll try my hand at a landing here, and uh, we will close the video off with that. bring down my flaps. Nope, oh, overspeed. How about landing gear? Here we go. It's about the same disaster as last time, but let's see. Oh, Jesus, that hurts. Come on. Come on. Come on. stopping power past the runway oh no we're going into the trees we're going into the trees boys oh gosh oh we're clipping right through them we're clipping right through them they don't do anything we're gonna bring our flaps all the way down here doing everything we can cut the mixture totally cut the engines off yeah that didn't uh that didn't go as planned. I actually thought we could pull that one off. That's what I get for, you know, going from flying a commercial jet to a Vietnam era fighter aircraft. Well, if you liked the video, like it. Uh, if you didn't like it, then whatever. Dislike it, I guess. Uh, if you want to see some more content like this, uh, of course, check out the channel, the videos that I have now. Uh, maybe you can subscribe and see some new stuff that'll be coming out soon. I'm starting to get more into the pace of uh, putting out new videos, getting better and better at editing. So you know, maybe you'll see some some funny things in there, but probably not for a while. Let's be honest. Um, other than that, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And if you made it this far, you are a legend. <laughs>